Every temperature and every day, everything changes. That's why I can't put the how-tos into a paragraph. Now, it's sounding super complicated. It's really not. As you make them, you get the feel for how the temperatures affect the bubble and that affects your photography. That makes sense, right? Hello everybody. We're going to do our how-to bubbles for photography today. We've got a nice temperature, a little too warm. You, you never heard anyone say in winter, but yeah, I'll say that it's too warm. Warm is better to start because everything's slow. So you have time to adjust your settings and your focus and your position and all those other things. So the setup, something with snow on it. Snow seems to help the bubbles stay cold and stay in place if they jiggle around a little bit because they're very susceptible to the wind. So we have our snow. We have our bubble mixture close by. Okay, we are on a sunny day. We are facing the sun, positioned to face the sun. And that's it. So low wind, sunny day, all your stuffs. Your bubble mixture which I have done another video on how to uh, prepare it and other uh, blowing tips I'll put the link in the description as well as posted here it's better to have a clear view to the Sun so no nothing obstructing that angle so if I put this here that would, as you can see it's casting a shadow across the snow that will cast a shadow across the bubble so clear area in front of you uh, that's it so now let's talk about equipment I use, uh, I've always used a Canon camera, which I love, and they seem to withstand the cold beautifully, so thank you, Canon camera. This is a 6D Mark II and a 100 millimeter macro lens, because I like close up, because you just get to see the bubbles so much better, and you can really focus in on the ice crystals beautifully. Of course, if you have another camera, get as close as you can and make it work. <laughs> For today, I'm going to be using this uh, viewer that because for video uh, I can only look through the screen here and I can't see with glaring into the Sun so this uh, blots out the Sun and allows me to focus into the light for photography of course um, you use your little uh, eyepiece close one eye keep one eye open so um, that should be fine to, to for you to focus and keep the Sun out settings always 100 ISO because it is so bright then your shutter speed depends on how much wind the bubble is being subjected to which will cause it to vibrate and move around <clears throat> which makes it very difficult to get a sharp picture so let's make a test bubble that's a little jiggly <laughs> so you might uh, I start at 125 shutter speed but you might go you know 200 maybe <laughs> 250 if it's windy like this I don't think I could blow half the bubbles I do without that wind barrier for photography there's just no way uh, they just move around too much they pop too often it's just not worth it so I'm, I came up with a wind barrier to sort of keep that wind at bay but one thing about the wind barrier is it changes the temperature so on a day like today it's uh, started off at minus 8 with the Sun and then it's about noon now past noon around noon it's um, minus two probably already at zero by now and with a little bit of wind maybe back down to minus two but if I put that wind barrier here I bump the temperature uh, much warmer and then um, the bubbles won't form ice crystals so I prefer on a day like today to blow it with no wind barrier so you're counting on it not being too windy let's do another test bubble wind also tends to come in it, some days are just plain windy all the time but other days the wind varies so it'll be still 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 windy 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 still 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 so in between those windy times you just have to wait and you'll, your bubble will remain still enough for you to photograph adjusting my shutter speed to the movement of the bubble okay so you could maybe stick at 200 I'll show you what that looks like I don't think I have any ice crystals to um, work with today so I'm sitting on a little bench right now. Um, you can rest on your knees. You need to be somewhat stable. So resting on your knees in the snow is not something I recommend. So get something that you can either kneel on comfortably or sit on without freezing. 
reason you need to be on manu uh, manual uh, focus and not any kind of autofocus is because the ice crystals form sometimes they start here sometimes they start here well of course they could start here and here but you are looking straight at it you will see them forming in the back or forming in the front you need to be able to adjust your focus to catch whichever um, plane they're appearing on for your photography if they develop on the back and the front simultaneously it's very difficult to get the contrast you'll need because the ones in the back blot out the contrast from the ones in the front talk about the position and I'm gonna I'm gonna film that for you so that it makes it a little more clear to see you'll see through my viewfinder here what things look like so the camera is always below at this angle so it's not really 45 degrees but downward facing the Sun and you tend to pivot this way or this way to give you the contrast you're looking for. So remember, facing toward the sun, lower down than the bubble. Once you get this angle, it's more of a tilting left and right to get that, uh, the, the contrast that you like and the colors that you like, because they will change. And then adjusting shutter speed, depending on how much movement you have, and aperture then to get the contrast you like. So right now I'm at ISO 100, shutter speed 125, 20, aperture, going down to 18, 16, 14. I see a bubble. I mean, I see a nice crystal. I do see a bubble. What else would see a nice crystal? It's too bright. I'm going to 16. Let's hope that hangs on just enough for us to see here. So imagine it filling up the whole bubble on a colder day. <laughs> That's quite beautiful, right? And as you move around, you can incorporate different things in the background to highlight the bubble as you like. A little more blue, black and white. Well, the bubble is being a champ. The wind is getting stronger. So on a warm day like today, the obstacle would be the time it takes for the ice crystals to form. Um, the bubbles tend to collapse before you have any kind of nice shapes for it that you'd want to photograph. On a colder day, they can form so quickly that you don't even have time. If you're taking a photo, you don't have time to capture any of it. For video, I always shoot at 125 with a tripod, ISO still at 100, and then adjusting the aperture as needed, um, depending on the conditions to get the contrast I like. Once you set yourself up, you've got your focus, your exposure, everything correct. It should stay that way for at least five minutes, 10 minutes sometimes. When you blow a bubble and it pops, it leaves a soapy deposit. And you can tend to blow the bubble in exactly the same spot. You tend to also blow it about the same side. Once I have my settings uh, for, for the, this position done, this exposure, everything's good, I can literally just blow bubble after bubble in the same spot until something changes, the sun moves over, or the conditions change. I hope that helps with your frozen bubble photography. If you have any questions, something that I didn't cover or a problem you encounter, please put it in the comments. I'll happily answer any questions you have to the best of my abilities. Um, just know it's going to take patience and a little bit of fiddling around, like all photography really, right? And soon enough, as you blow your first bubbles and photograph them, you become 
more and more familiar with all these little things that have to be tweaked to get the picture that you like. Uh, I strongly recommend it. It's so worth any freezing fingers and toes you get. It's worth the patience that's required because watching these bubbles develop with their beautiful ice crystals um, only makes you more aware how awesome nature is and how beautiful winter can be. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you next time. Thank you.